Hello friends. Do you know there is a lot of buzz about a new board in the market? That's correct. I'm talking about Arduino Giga Wi-Fi R1. But do you know why suddenly does something has changed massive in it? Yes, Arduino is claiming it to be one of the finest board microcontroller board developed with lot of features. So let's check it out what all the features it has. So this microcontroller board comes with a dual core M7M4 32 bit low power ARM MCU. What does it mean? It means we can run the two cores at the same time and they can run independently in parallel. Okay, so they can share the different memory. Okay. And they have it has introduced a lot of new features like audio jack. So this is a new thing coming into an Arduino board. 3.5 M audio jack TRRS type. Okay, so we whenever we have to use we have to use uh, this kind of audio jack only. Then we have uh, the USB A type, which can be used utilized for reading and writing the files. USB Type C is for power supply and for the as uh, and utilized as a programming port. Then we will get also when when we open the package, then we will get also the antenna with this particular board, which we need to fit. So this is the antenna point where we need to fit the antenna and we can utilize it. So this is the reset reset pin. So whenever we want to reset the whole board, we put, uh, press it. At that point of time, this, the LED uh, will glow and, uh, and it will allow us to again, we can re-download uh, the program. So it has also provided a camera port and the JTAG for the advanced debugging. If you see uh, the num all the all the pins has been increased like I2C. So normally we used to have only one. Now in this one we have the 3x. Same thing we have for EWM. We have for uh, U UART. So all those pins has been increased into the multiples. So we can communicate, connect a lot of uh, devices uh, with this particular board. So even like we, it is providing us almost like 76 digital IOs, which is a huge number. So that is why it is providing, it is called as a massive change in the Arduino segment. It is also providing onboard CAN protocol, which can be utilized in a good sense in the EV sector. So we can use this board. We don't have to buy extra modules and we can utilize it. And then we have, of course, the analog and the ADC and DAC. So it also has the real time clock in it. Okay. So that real time clock we can utilize for our purpose for the time stamping. And so as I was talking about uh, the M4 and M7, so M7 is the uh, main core and M4 uh, is the secondary core basically. So without M7, M4 will not run M4 always need the M7 to, to, to be running. Now these two cores also can share the memory, uh, which is like from 2 MB, it can be configured in 1 to uh, 1.5 to 0.5 and uh, like 1 MB and 1 MB. So all those things uh, we can find also more details in the Arduino website. They have given it with a very good documentations. So, but it is, it is providing a lot of uh, other features also like uh, on the communication protocols, it is, uh, it has enabled Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi can be configured as a web server, the web server AP, uh, Wi-Fi client. Same thing we have uh, also enabled it has for MQTT. So MQTT can be utilized for publisher as well as a subscriber. Then it has also option for UDP protocol. So UDP protocol basically uh, sender and receiver. So all those options are, are enabled on the communication protocol side. So I have covered also the examples of those protocols uh, which will be coming in uh, sometime in the same videos. So this is talking about the technical and details uh, of the board and what exactly has been enhanced in this particular board like on the pins, communication, connectors 
okay power supply it can now support from 6 to 24 volts so that is uh, again a very good thing which has been done so even we can utilize for some industrial purpose where we have the 24 volt supply so there we can put this particular board so this is the just a pin out i have tried to cover which we can utilize so let's go to the some examples so i will start with the powering up of this particular board so if you see uh, it can be powered up using the usb cc type connector and once we do the power led will get on and the onboard led which we utilize for blink that will get also enabled so that was happened on my board okay so let's uh, start with our favorite example of the blink program so let me utilize that example and show how exactly uh, we can uh, program it so we will use the same Arduino latest 2.1 IDE to program it and we can download validate and download the code so if you see it will get downloaded and the blink program will be running okay so this is as for every board we start with the blink program so I thought to start so this is a, what a new feature which is utilizing the USB drive and the audio signal I'm trying to showcase here. So we can take this, I have taken this example directly from the uh, Arduino website. So they have given a very good example. I try to just play with uh, some of those settings. So one of the thing which I found is the library which they have mentioned the USB host M85 has now been changed. So it will be coming with uh, uh, Arduino underscore usb host embed 5 so that we need to correct it on that particular example but anyhow we will get those errors and we can uh, we can correct it so that is not an issue so let me put download this particular code into the board after which i will be showing you how exactly i have connected uh, the usb drive on this from where i'm reading a song and then playing it on the uh, speaker using 3.5 mm jack i have just if you have listened the, the song i'm utilizing it from the movie suzune and uh, i have just tweaked some of the sampling and all those things so the whole uh, mode of song has changed so so in the serial monitor we have to open and it will showcase uh, how exactly okay so uh, no such file directly so so i have to go and up date yeah the device name I have to update based on the my device uh, which uh, I am using and so that's what the song I am utilizing okay so let me again download it so once it get downloaded so it will showcase so this is what it is connected so i have connected a usb drive it has the 3.5 mm jack pin and then the song will be played on this particular so let me show you another example of uh, the audio web file uh, and we have to utilize here the wav format file to play so this is another example where it is playing in normal uh, mode that's how we can program the USB and the audio. So the next example which I'm covering is for the Wi-Fi connectivity and the MQTT. So I'm connecting Arduino board uh, to the Wi-Fi server as a, and it will be working as a Wi-Fi client and also the MQTT as a MQTT client. So uh, I have connected it to my uh, adafruit.com uh, uh, where, uh, where it is configured, all the topics are configured and uh, let me download it so it is just uh, to send some values and show it on the subscriber part okay so once the code get downloaded now let me show it on the serial monitor how exactly it is uh, sending the data So the data is getting sent to this particular topic and uh, all these values are getting updated. So let me subscribe 
to uh, this particular topic on my mobile uh, which is also connected to the same uh, server so once I get connected uh, let me show you so the same value will start coming also on the subscriber part so the topic uh, which has been subscribed so if you see the data is getting sent and on the mobile the same thing is getting updated so this is uh, the example for the Wi-Fi and the MQTT so which we can utilize so the next example which I'm uh, putting here is for the input and output like I'm reading uh, the data from the ultrasonic sensor and then operating the relay module so this is what this particular code is doing so I have downloaded so if you see that uh, I'm getting uh, some values so so this is the ultrasonic sensor and I have a relay module so when I uh, get closer uh, then the uh, relay will get activated and when it is getting far then the relay will, relay will get deactivated so i put a threshold accordingly it is working so this is the another example uh, which we can see so this is only for the digital input and output pins and how we can utilize this particular items to configure it in this particular board so another communication protocol which is i2c and how we can utilize it to display uh, on on the OLED uh, display basically so I'm using here the Adafruit uh, library uh, to uh, uh, show uh, the values on, on the display okay so I have a OLED display uh, where I'm connecting it using SDA HCL and the power and the ground okay so the uh, connection is there and then uh, we will uh, write some value and move it from one side to another so that is what exactly we will be doing so let me so code is downloaded so if you see here uh, the value the text is getting displayed and it is moving from one to side to another side so this is for the i2c so we can utilize for displaying the items on the oily board so yeah this is the basic overview of this particular board how we can utilize what all the things are possible uh, uh, i have tried to explain it here and uh, yeah we can utilize this particular board for a lot of projects and uh, we can come up with a lot of new ideas so that's all for this particular video and thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one